Thursday through Saturday at 1 a.m. 12 Central, only on GSN. Studio Florida, here's America's number one clock watcher, Gary Kroger. Each of our teams wants to win our game and have a chance to grab all they can in our swirling whirlwind of over $25,000 in cash and prizes. Teams, how'd you like to earn a 10-point advantage to start the game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I got good news for you ladies. Here's what you're going to do. When I say beat the clock, the guys are going to sit on that stool. You're going to stick three straws on their face using that shaving cream right there. How you do it with your hands or put it right on his face, I don't care. When he's got three straws, get him across this finish line. The first to do so gets those 10 points. Now, if the straw drops here, you got to go back and get another one, both of you, at that spot right there. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. then let's beat the clock. And they have the lead today as people from all across America use strategy and skill to beat the clock. clock is back and it's better than ever. I got three great teams here. They're here to test their brains and their bodies. For winning that first game, the red team has 10 points and you're starting things off. Come over here. Right. Yeah. I have Kathy and Bob Reynolds, correct? Yes. You guys are married. Yes. Absolutely. Where from? Marshall, Illinois. Very good, Midwest. I yeah, love absolutely. the Midwest. I'm an old Iowa boy. Oh, yeah. Neighbors. Kathy, tell everybody what you do. Um, I am a kindergarten teacher. Give her a big hand. Let me tell you something. Here at Beat the Clock, I'm a daddy. A lot of daddies and mommies are here. We have a lot of respect for teachers, so we've done a special show. At least one member of every team is a teacher, one of the most respected professions in the world. You can't yeah. give them enough applause. And the real fun today is going to be any one of your teams, I'm going to be able to hand a teacher a whole lot of cash, and you uh, deserve it. All right? Uh, now, Bob, what do you do? I'm a union operator. Uh, excellent. We're happy to have you here. I'm glad that you're a team. Now, you guys have a decision to make. To help us with that is our very own Julie Lynn. Come on in here. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? Now, you'll notice Julie Lynn has some items that I want you guys to look at. What do you have, Julie Lynn? Today, we have a box, a piece of an inner tube, and a balloon. Now, each one of these items will be used in a different challenge. You guys are going to decide who uses what. Now, we've tested these. We know they're of equal difficulty, but what might be difficult for you might be easy for them or vice versa. Don't know till you try, right? right. Mm -hmm. Choose for yourselves, please. What do you think? Balloon. Okay. You like the balloon? Or you don't, you can keep, let Julie Lynn keep okay. her balloon. We'll uh, play with uh, some other uh, uh, What Sorry. would you like the gold <laughs> team to play with? Bob. The box. Okay, box. the box. That means the inner tubes are going to the blue team. Excellent. Thank you, Julie Thank Lynn. You. Now, we give everybody 30 seconds to complete this challenge. But I have a little brain teaser for you, and if you get these correct, then you're going to get 10 more seconds, and that's a great advantage to have 40. I'm going to ask you a question. It has at least two answers. Kathy, you'll give me one of the answers. If you're correct, Bob, you'll give me another. Okay. What are the first names of the Osmond brother and sister who co-hosted their own syndicated talk variety show in the 90s? Kathy. Donnie. That's Marie. one. You got it, Donnie and Marie Osmond. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come on over here, you guys. You chose the balloon. Do you like to swim, Bob? Oh, yeah. Well, get into the pool and just stand here. There's no water in there yet. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is we're going to put you in a raincoat, put some goggles on you, and then we're going to put a special pin hat on you. Now, I like to point out that most of these challenges are physical, but sometimes, you know, you have to use your head. You're going to be using your head in a very different kind of way. Let's make you look real nice here. <laughs> now, what you're going to do is you're going to stand right over here, and you're going to stay right there. Okay. These are water balloons in there. What's going to happen is you're going to toss water balloons at your husband, and he has to pop five of them on his pin head. No problem. Yeah. Make sure you turn around so everybody can see what you look like. Isn't that a great look? Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you ready? There's 40 seconds on the clock. Five balloons, stay right there. It's got to pop on your head, Bob. Beat the clock. Oh, there's one. Two. Three. Four. All right, come on out, Bob. You know, I wasn't sure if that could be done. You guys are great. Go on back and relax. Uh, uh, and let's 
set. You've got 10 points plus 28 more for the seconds left on the clock. Come on over here. To admit that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> now we have Chrissy and Scott Sakai, correct? Yes. Correct. You guys are married? Yes. How long? A couple years. You're still kind of newlyweds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Where are you from? We're from Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, which is about 60 miles south of Pittsburgh. Excellent. Chrissy, what do you do? I'm a restaurant manager. Excellent. And Scott? I'm a sixth grade teacher. There's my sixth grade teacher right there. I'd like to give you those 10 extra seconds, because when you do get those seconds and you still beat the clock in such good time, they got like 28 extra points on top of the 10 right there. So you see where it really comes in handy. I got a question that has at least two answers. Chrissy, you'll go first. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, which two rooms of the house do Americans most often remodel? Chrissy? Kitchen. That's one. Scott? Living room. Bathroom. <laughs> you knew it kind of too, didn't you? <laughs> Kitchen and the bathroom. Okay. Come on over here. All right. Now, you guys will decide who's going to do what, but I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. One of you is going to be right here. And you're going to be holding these paddles the way Julie Lynn is right now. The other is going to be over there where those boxes are. You need to toss a box over there so that your partner catches them like so. Then set that box down here, catch another, stack it on top. I want to see three boxes stacked right there that you catch with these paddles. Who's going to do the catching? I'll catch. Okay, Scott, so you'll be doing the tossing. You got to stay on that ring, and you've got to stay on that ring right there. You got 30 seconds on the clock. Beat the clock. Scott, you take your paddles and go back there and relax. Ten points plus 12 left on the clock. Come on over here, Jack and Ellen. Say hello to our blue team, everyone. Ellen and Jack Cannabis. Nice to meet you. you guys are married how long? 15 years. Where are from? Uh, Sturbridge, Massachusetts. And what do you do, Ellen? I'm a junior high school health teacher. Excellent. <laughs> Jack? I'm a seventh grade math teacher. You're a teacher as well. Excellent. We're really happy to have you. Now, you saw the deal. You saw where those extra points give you more points on the clock if you can beat it, right? Yep. I got a question. has at least two answers. Ellen, you'll go first. What are the two musical terms used to describe notes that are a half step up or down from the white keys on the piano? Ellen? Um, soprano? No, I'm looking for a flat. Oh, or a sharp. Okay. Flat or sharp. <laughs> Can't give you the extra, but come on over here. <laughs> Step over here. Now, you guys are really going to be using your heads here. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to put on this helmet. You're going to be attached here. You're going to be attached here. She's going to step in this ring, and she's going to pull it over both of you so that it's on you, and you're going to step out of it. I need you guys to transfer each of these five rings to beat the clock. You got that, Ellen? I know you were kind of busy getting your helmet on there. You're going to start by putting a ring over you, Helen, and then you're going to pass it over on to Jack five times. You got it? Okay. All right. You guys ready? Okay. Let's put Ellen in the circle to begin with. You're clear on what's going on? Then you'll move on to the next one. 30 seconds are on the clock. Beat the clock. Get it all the way down first before you get to another. Get it all the way down. They're going to do it. your podium now. <laughs> All three teams have played. When it's over, only two teams will still be in the game. One of them. <laughs> Michael C. Fina's Lismore Crystal Vaz from their spectacular selection of jewelry, silver, china, and giftware. Visit them at michaelcfina.com. Bush offers a casual contemporary feel in an entertainment center with curved glass doors, adjustable shelves, and panoramic curio lighting from Bush Furniture. Stay tuned. There's more Beat the Clock coming your way. Many shows print today on I.
tell you, I am particularly having fun today because after years of being told what to do by teachers, I'm telling <laughs> teachers to throw water balloons and jump through hoops. <laughs> now, because you guys have all won your challenges today, we have great scores up there. But because the red team also won that first game, you're in first place with 48 big points. <laughs> The winning team today will have a chance to enter our whirlwind of cash and prizes in addition to a heck of a lot of cash. Listen to what else you could grab and take home. Panasonic's compact plain paper fax has enhanced copier function, 2.4 gigahertz cordless phone, and digital answer system. From Panasonic, ideas for life. We've added more prizes, but soon there will be fewer players. Only the first two teams to complete this challenge will move on. One team we will have to say goodbye to. Here's what you're going to have to do. Now, wives, you'll notice that your husbands are over here. They're going to stay on that circle, and they've each got a plunger. It's not to do housework. It's to complete this little challenge here. You guys are going to come to these respective circles according to your score, and you're going to toss balls to them. All you guys have to do is catch a ball in the air or on the bounce between those two plungers. Then. Balance that ball onto one of the plungers so you look like Lady Liberty and cross this finish line. The first to do so will move on. Kathy, come on down here. You've got the best score. You're going to be the closest. It's going to be the easiest toss. Chrissy? Yeah. You're a bit farther back. Helen, you guys have a very good score, but it's the lowest score right now, so you're a bit farther back. You've got a farther throw. Makes it a little tougher for Jack. Okay. Now, if you run through your balls, it's up to you gals to get them and come back to your circle. All right? Beat the clock! <laughs> But you had a little bit of a bobble right there. Oh. And those guys, he even went across the line with two plungers, for heaven's sake. I know. For playing with us. And you guys are great players. And we loved having you. Thanks for having fun with us. We have a Thank collection you. of Bruder and Yard USA magazines. That includes Family Circle, Rosie. That's worth over $250. And all this applause. Thank you. Good luck to both of you. All right. It's down to the blue team and the two plunger gold team. One of them will have a chance at the cash and prizes. Let's all take a look at the challenge that will stand in their way. As demonstrated by our uniquely qualified stunt testing division, one partner is in our little beetle clock car. The other partner is the backseat driver and is blindfolded. The passenger will direct the backseat driver so she can retrieve the cones from the numbered circles in the correct order. The starting time we give everyone is two minutes, but these two teams will now bid for the right to do it in even less time. Team will win the game either by beating the clock or by bidding the opposing side into defeat. Now, Ellen, you and Jack finished that elimination round first, so I'm going to ask you a question. Ellen, don't you answer it. If you think Jack knows the answer, let him answer. If he's correct, you'll start the bidding, and that's a nice strategic advantage. If you don't think he knows, you can challenge Scott here, but if he gets it correct, he'll start the bidding. Here's right. your question. A native of Canada. Dr. James Naismith established what game in a YMCA gymnasium in Springfield, Massachusetts? I'm going to give this question to Jack, definitely. Okay, Jack. Basketball. Basketball <laughs> is correct, sir. Yeah! <laughs> you big basketball fan? You must. You must. All right. All right. Well, yeah, of course you know this. Evans. And we live near Springfield. There you go. Of course. Good heavens. All right, it starts at two minutes. Where do you want to go from there? Um, what do you think? Minute 30. Minute 30. Okay. Okay, they say a minute 30. They're cutting 30 seconds off. 120. 120. 120. Okay, 120. Think we can do it less? Yeah. Uh, minute. Okay, you're down to one minute. You beat, beat the, the clock. clock. You say beat, beat the, clock. the clock. All right, that's what they make stop at one minute. That means blue team will attempt to beat the clock in that time. If they do it, they win the game. If not, gold team goes into our whirlwind of cash and prizes. Who's it going to be? Stick around. Let's find out. and Jack are all set to beat the clock. All the gold team Chrissy and Scott can do is stand back there, watch, wait, see what happens. Now remember, Jack is going to be blindfolded, so Ellen, you have to use your best school teacher voice. You know that voice, everyone, that can cut through anything oh. to tell him what to do. Now, you're going to direct him through this maze. Why don't you get yourself okay. in there, get yourself nice and comfortable, 
Jack, you're blindfolded? Yes, Is that on there? You're all right? All right. Okay. Guide him back to his steering wheel here. You've got one <laughs> minute on the clock. <laughs> Ellen, once scary? again, it gets very loud in here. Okay. So you're going to have to direct right, him. It might that. behoove you even to turn over your shoulder so he gets these directions. Okay. Guys, ready? One minute's up there. Beat the clock! Okay. Right, 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 right. There you go. stuck under there. I think you might have done it. You did so well. You did so well. We heard her. We, guys, you're not going home empty handed. We have a collection of how-to books. Keep your life simple and easy from DK Publishing and all this applause. Thank you, guys. All right. That means our champs here, the gold team, it's going to go into that swirling whirlwind of cash and prizes when we come back. So you stick around. Good bid. You're watching I, independent television. I. We're back with today's champions, our gold team, Chrissy and Scott. You got here with good bidding. Yeah. Way yes, to go. Absolutely. They almost did it, but with a minute, there was no room to make a mistake, and that's how you got here. All right, now, time is your friend, right? Yes. For 60 seconds, you're going into our swirling whirlwind of cash and prizes. That's how much time you have to grab as much as you can, and you got to get it inside this bag. Can't be in, in your hands when the clock is up. It's got to be in there. Now, it really swirls, so we've given you protective goggles. You also have gloves to protect you from all the paper flying around. Helps you grab the stuff and get it in there. There's over $25,000 in there, plus these special gift vouchers that Julie Lynn is adding right now. You grab one of those, you're going home with one of these. This all-sweet resort is set on a private beach of Panama City's Emerald Coast. Just step from the famous Miracle Mile, open-air arcades, and sky blue cotton candy. Call 1-800-874-8686. From Oneida, striking stainless flatware in the satin Aquarius pattern. A 20-piece service for four, plus hostess set and serving set. Oneida, your table is ready. Croton's His and Her Watches, a two-tone brass bracelet and case, highlight the attractive Duco white dial from Croton Watch Company. Find watches since 1878. It's on the floor. You can kick it, get in the air, but you can't reach down and grab it. It's got to be in the air. Any questions? No questions. Then let's do it. Get yourselves in there. We'll set the clock at 60 seconds. We'll count down from there. I'm going to start the whirlwind for one second before you start grabbing. They look ready. 60 seconds are on the clock. Start the whirlwind. Beat the clock. Keep it in the air, guys. Come on, grab! Kick it, kick it. Did Scott just fall down? Come on out here.
weather. It's safer out here, guys. I know, so much fun. <laughs> All right. Give me this so we can give it to Julie Lynn. She's going to take it off and count it for us. There it is. All right. There you go. What was that like? Oh, it was that great. Was fun. <laughs> it's harder than you think, man. <laughs> you guys feel like you got some stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. 20 more bucks than I came in with. All, All right. That's matters. a good attitude. But you know what? I have a feeling it's more than that. Let's find out. Julie Lynn, what do we have? In addition to what they won, we also have an apple for our oh, teacher. And appreciation. Is that, well, you, I heard you say, Chrissy, well, if we got at least $20 in cash, we, we, we're leaving with more than we came with. How about $1,200 in cash? <laughs> Call your friends, tell them that you're on the show with your Panasonic fax and phone. Oh, yeah. Scott, I heard you say you wanted something when, when Julie Lynn was taking off the money. What was it? Well, I, I really wanted the Best Buy gift certificate. Well, here it is. $1,000 at Best Buy. Yeah. What else did you say you wanted? Well, my TV's really old and How small. about a 42-inch plasma yeah. screen television? That's worth $6,000. <laughs> Way to go, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Gary Kroger. And I'm Julie. Make sure you're on time every time.